Hi everyone, welcome to the first general favorites of 2017. So I missed a few months last year, so my goal for 2017 is going to be to make one every month. In any case, I'm going to get started because I have a few things here. Um, it's been a few months, so a lot of these things have piled up. So for the past few months, I think because of all the flights and all the traveling, I've been getting sick pretty often. So I reached out to you guys on Instagram to ask you to take a photo of all the vitamins that you take, or if you can send me suggestions on vitamins to take to like boost my immune system. And you guys made some really good suggestions. So what I did was I went ahead and wrote everything down and then tallied everything up. And then I went out and bought the vitamins that were the most mentioned. The following day, I had a kind of like an interview meeting with this guy from Glossy named John Kim. And I don't know what we were talking about, but somehow it led to vitamins. So he recommended Care of Vitamins, which is this right here. The cool thing about Care of Vitamins is that it's a monthly subscription. So what you do is you take a quiz. So you answer a ton of questions that are about yourself and then they give you a list of recommendations. So they recommended me four vitamins, and the vitamins that I was recommended, um, I have vitamin C, a probiotic blend, vitamin D, and rhodiola, which is like an energy or energizing vitamin. The thing is, you can either take the quiz and then just go out and buy the vitamins separately, or you can go ahead and just subscribe to a month of vitamins. So when I went out and bought the vitamins the day before, all my vitamins added up to like $136, but I didn't open any of them, so I went and returned them. So this ended up, because they recommended only four vitamins, my subscription was $26 a month, which is totally affordable in comparison to $136. And it's in like this cute little package where you pull them out. I'm on my last few because it's the end of the month. It's made for you. It has your name on it and everything, and it's in these really convenient packets. So. It's like a little tea bag, basically. So you can bring them with you, you can leave it in plain sight, like right next to your water or whatever, and then just take one first thing every morning. So it's been super convenient, and I've been actually doing it every single day. And a lot of people have been asking me how I feel after taking these vitamins for the past like few weeks. And I have to say, I don't really feel much of a difference, but I haven't gotten sick, which is a huge deal for me because I usually get sick just about every week, or if I'm around someone who's sick. And Ian's been sick, Donnie's been sick, so. I haven't gotten sick, which is a huge deal. So I think these are really effective. So Ian and I went up to Portland, but on our way up, we stopped by San Francisco, and I was like, we have to go into my friend's shop. So Chelsea has a shop in um, San Francisco called Shop Anomi. I mean, I'm sure all you guys know about her, but Shop Anomi is like an amazing online store as well. And I've only been on the site, so I really had to stop in, but I found this. This is from Soul Sunday. It's called The Pits. And this is perfect for winter because, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't take a shower every single day. Especially during the winter time, I like to skip days. So, because it's freezing here. It's even colder in my apartment because my bedroom isn't very insulated, so you can hear everything outside right now. I saw this, I smelled it, and I remember her mentioning that it's a natural deodorant, so it's more of like an at-home deodorant, like you just wear it around the house. It's not going to be good for super sweaty people, but I'm not a super sweaty person or anything, and especially during the winter, I don't really have that much body odor. So I got this, and it's been working really well, especially when I skip days. The texture is almost like coconut oil. What you do is you scrape off a little bit. I use the back of my nail, scrape off a little bit, and then rub it into my fingers, and then rub it under my pits. It smells super clean. It doesn't leave a white cast or anything like that. It absorbs perfectly fine. It's natural. There's no aluminum in it. You will sweat if you are a sweaty person, but I think that's natural. That's totally fine, right? You're meant to sweat. It's just the odor that I'm trying to cancel out. On that note, I've been wanting this from Group Partner. This is also from Chelsea's shop. It's a Group Partner boobs um, pot. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over like Instagram, all over YouTube as well, but I just think it's the cutest thing ever. So I need to find a plant to put in here. Right now I just have change in there for laundry. I've been really enjoying it and it makes me happy every time I see it. For a record favorite, this right here. This is Carla Del Forno. My friend Brandy from Portland sent this to me and she wrote on the card, she's like, I'm not sure if you're really into electronic music. So when I read that, I was thinking, oh, it's probably like house music or like totally electronic, right? But it's actually like perfect rainy day music, in my opinion. Like there's certain bands that are like perfect for rainy days, because it's been raining a lot in California, which is a good thing, we really need it. Usually when it rains, I listen to a lot like Portishead. So anyway, I put this on and I've been hooked. It's just very calm, beautiful voice. I love this as like data entry music, so like when you're designing graphics or like if you're building product pages for like e-com shops, this is perfect for when you're doing computer work or when you're inside all day and it's raining outside. It's just perfect music, kind of moody, kind of spooky. I really like it. And it's also on Spotify too, so I'll have a link 
down in the description box for you to listen. I've been really into thrifting lately. I've been finding so many great thrifted finds. If you guys want to see a video on it, let me know. But in any case, um, I found this sculpture right here at a thrift store in Long Beach and I fell completely in love with it. It's just one stone piece. It's a little bit like a blush pink. If you guys know what these are called, please let me know. And it's nice and cold too, so it feels really good. The candle that I've been enjoying, now I've had this for a while too. This is from a brand called Le Fleur de... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't really pronounce it, but I think it's Le Fleur de Lou. But it's the Profound Rose Scent. It's kind of a sweet feminine scent, and it's just a nice pick-me-up for the winter time, really. So as soon as I finish this, I think what I'm gonna do is poke a little hole at the bottom and just put a plant in it. And the entire thing is made of wax as well, but the cool thing is that when you burn the candle, the wax outside doesn't melt all the way down. I think it does form little ridges here and there, but it doesn't melt all the way down, so I can't wait to burn through this candle and then just put plants in it. All right, so books and then beauty products. So this book has been out for a while, but um, as soon as it went on pre-sale, I ordered it right away. And then when I got it, I was so excited. But it's this book right here. This is Estee's book. Um, it's called Bloom. And I thought for some reason that it was gonna be kind of like the Kevin Aquan books, like the makeup books about beauty and stuff. And it is a little bit about beauty, but it's a lot about her as a human being, her family, her anxiety. And when I read all the stories and all the letters and everything, you can really relate because everyone knows someone like her grandma or her brother or you, Aslan or Reggie, you know? It just made me really happy. And it's such a beautiful book too. So even if you don't like reading, all the photos are beautiful as well. Yeah, I'm really proud of her and I love it. I got some Amazon gift cards for Christmas, so I went and ordered this, which has been on my wish list for a really long time. This is Squirrel, Everything I Want to Eat, and it's Jessica Coslow. She's the owner of this restaurant, Squirrel. And then on the book cover is, this is the Peter Shire mug. He's from Echo Park. He makes really cool art installations, but his pottery is phenomenal. It's, I think it's called Echo Park Pottery, or EXP. Some of the photos in this book were taken in his studio as well, which is really cool. In any case, if you guys have seen any of my recipe videos, a lot of the inspiration is drawn from her recipes. Like, a lot of the stuff I cook have eggs in it, they're made very simply, a lot of kale, a lot of really healthy food, but very delicious in my opinion, very like eye-catching, a lot of colors. So it's a huge thanks to this restaurant, it's just very pretty food. But yeah, if you like cooking, if you like meal prep especially, so if you cook like every Sunday for the next couple days or every Monday, meal prep Mondays or whatever, you would like this book because a lot of these things you can make in advance and then use them later on in the week, which is great. Every morning I wash my face with this and I've been using this for the past like three months I need to get a new head for it because after three months you're supposed to switch up the head. But anyway, a charge for me lasts about like 30 days. I wasn't a fan of the Clarisonic before because my sister gave me her old Clarisonic and it was used and I didn't switch up the brush head. And then I also use a cleanser with microbeads in it, which you're not supposed to do. You should definitely read instructions on anything beauty related because... I've used pipettfuls of things that you're supposed to only use three drops of and like my skin will like start rashing up and everything so really pay attention. So I was using the little bottle that it came with, it's like a little pink bottle or something like that but it was kind of stripping my skin a little bit and making it feel dry in little patches especially around my chin. So I just figured that it was the Clarisonic because it's such a heavy duty tool but then I started using this cleanser right here. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser, and this is for all skin types. And it's such a gentle formula. It comes out clear, it doesn't really smell like anything, and it doesn't strip your skin either. This combination, the Clarisonic and the face wash from Kiehl's is amazing. All right, I got two moisturizing products here. I have this renewal oil from La Mer, and I know it's a little bit pricey, but I've used it so much, and this is how much I've only used, you know? So I use this just about every day. I put like a couple drops here and there. But I found a new purpose for this. It works great as a natural looking highlighter. So if you put it like right above your lips, right on the very top of your nose, right on your cheekbones, and like a little bit on your eyelid, it gives you a really nice looking glow. And I also mix this into my foundations too, like my thicker foundations to make it a little bit more of like a skin tint, a little bit more slip, nourishes my skin. It has like the miracle broth in it, so it's really good for your skin. This works so well in like every foundation that I've tried it on. And then I have the Glossier Priming Rich Moisturizer. It smells like lavender, need I say more. It's just a beautiful, thick, rich, moisturizing cream. It feels so luxurious, smells so so good. That's my favorite part, the smell of it. And I use this day and night even though it has a lavender scent in it and the packaging is just so beautiful as well. This is like my new favorite product from Glossier. 
It's definitely top three because I really like Boy Barrow and Super Balance as well. For lips, I've been reaching for this Lano Tinted Lip Balm, and I know the one that they make now has SPF in it, but this is called Perfect Nude. It's supposed to be the perfect lip color. On me, it shows up a little bit sheer, but the texture is really nice, and it just adds a little hint of color. It's super moisturizing. I've been really dry lately, so this is like a godsend. I love the cute packaging as well, and to me, it smells like caramel. So another lip product that I have is this one from Kosas, and I've only had this for a couple weeks, but I've been trying to find every excuse possible to wear this. I don't wear it straight from the bullet like just all over. I just kind of blot it right in the center like that and it's a really nice bricky color. I really like rubbing it in and kind of staining my lips with it and then rubbing it on my cheeks giving me like a natural looking flush. I love this color. I think it's perfect for winter and it's a little bit kind of dark in the bullet so you can really build it up obviously. I think it's meant to be more of like a vampy lip color but I just wear it as like a little stain. Super moisturizing and it's made in USA out of Los Angeles. Brushes, I've been using this from Artist. It's the number eight, it's the really big one. They also have the number seven which I recommend to all you guys but this one's the one that I have. I might go ahead and buy the smaller one just because I think it might be a little bit more convenient. I really like this one because it's unlike anything I've ever used. It puts on my foundation super fast. So I don't have to use that much foundation and it really just blends out everything super perfectly super evenly and it feels almost like a sponge on your face gives you a really nice massage as well and on that note brush craft is like a sister brand to artist brushes and they have this brush called the linear one which is supposed to be like an eyeliner brush it's a little bit on the flatter side so I've been using this to do my eyebrows and I really like it super user-friendly really no learning curve um, it's great for like no fuss everyday eyebrows are not too sharp not too like made up like daytime brows I would say but if you're going out and you're looking for something more precise this wouldn't be your guy and it's a little bit more affordable than the artist line. The palette that I've been reaching for the most is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Surreal Light. And I've been reaching for this a ton because it has everything I need in one palette. So it has the bronzer, the highlight, two blushes. What I normally do is do the draping method. So I put this one color down and then I pop this right on the apples of my cheeks. The finishing powder is amazing down the center of my face. And the palette itself is so beautiful. It's nice and marble, and the mirror is such a good size. And I actually find myself pulling this out and using the mirror, and then end up using all the powders inside, just because I have the mirror out too. So the scent that I've been loving will come as no surprise to you. I've been wearing this all month, but I've been talking about it for the past few months. This is Riddle Oil Centol, and I've been wearing the original scent for a couple of years now, and then I just switched to this scent, which is like a spicy cardamom, amber sandalwood scent. Read the notes because I know it's not for everyone. I know that Jen Rogers didn't really like it. But read the notes on it because I think it's such a beautiful scent and I know that scents do change on people from time to time so I've been using it every day for the past like month or so and I've only finished about this much. You can see it's like still pretty full because I just do a little dab. Maybe you're supposed to do more but I'm kind of afraid of being that person who reeks of uh perfume, you know what I mean? So I don't really douse myself with it, but whenever I do hug people, they always say, oh, you smell so nice and you smell so good. A little goes a long way in my opinion. For jewelry, I know I never talk about jewelry, but I've been enjoying these pieces a ton lately. I've been trying to wear more rings. So I got these two like stacking rings from this shop called Laurel in Portland, and I've been wearing them a ton. They were super cheap. I think they were about like five or $10 a piece. So not too bad. And they're in rose gold. So I've just been wearing them on my these two fingers. And this one here, which is a circle, this is from Young Frank. I really like this because it's just so simple and it's gold and it just kind of goes with everything. I think it goes together. Are you not supposed to wear rose gold and gold and silver together? Is there a rule? I mean, obviously I'm new to this jewelry thing, so if it's kind of like a faux pas, let me know. But I mean, like I wear it on different hands, so that counts for something, right? So yeah, I've been really liking wearing rings. I've been taking care of my nails better because I've been wearing rings. I've been wearing hand cream more, which in result has been taking care of my hands and nails so I can wear rings, so yeah. And then earrings. I know I don't ever talk about earrings. Usually the earrings that never leave my ears are these guys right here. These are Kathleen Whitaker and I have a staple stud and like a little dot on one side. I used to have two staple studs, but then I got my hair washed and uh, cut one day and then when I got back from the hairstylist, it was gone. So I just bought the circle one, figured I'd go for something different. But on fancy occasions, and I know this isn't really like a fancy earring or anything like that, but on special occasions, I break these guys out. And this is from Nephilia. She makes the prettiest jewelry. She made these, um, they almost look like horseshoes these earrings that just kind of dangle down a little bit, which I loved. But she recently came up with these, which is a circle, and then it kind of goes down. So what you do is you tuck your ear in this way, and it's so beautiful. I love it so much. It's so simple and so delicate, 
so feminine but kind of badass in a way so I really like this short of the week so my cousin Amy sent me a text one day and she was like hey you should check this out they um, feature an hour of short films every week but there's a whole bank of like short films and they're all very artsy there's like different categories too there's romance there's drama there's like spooky I mean you know what I mean like um, it's basically Netflix for short films but they're all very well done all independent short films some of them are really grim the week that I started watching was maybe a little over a month ago and it was pretty grim I remember watching it and I was already having a bad day and I was just like oh this is so beautiful I'm just gonna sulk and watch this all day and, and that I definitely did I watched way more than one hour that they featured if you are in film school or if you're like an art student I think you'd really like this okay so those are all my favorites for the month of January it's actually more than the month of January but I just accumulated so many over the past few months of not doing general favorites so I thought this would be a good way to start off the year I'm gonna try and make one for every month for the rest of 2017 so I hope you guys watch them all right thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye